Hare Krishna, so here's a question about fault finding tendency. So a person asks that, you know, mind is always looking at faults of devotees and especially when you go to the temple, you're always finding this person did like this, this person did like that. And uh, here the person is feeling that probably I should stop going to temple. And sometimes the fault is not so great, it's not so big, but still the mind keeps thinking upon it. So what to do? So here we can understand that all of us have some envy. Uh, the envy is like the uh, poison within our hearts. We all have six enemies, what they call a Shadripu. And uh, this six enemies, lust, anger, greed, the most fine, subtle of all the uh, anarthas is actually envy. And this stems from our envy to the Supreme Lord, Sri Krishna. Because we envy the Lord, that's why we are here in this material world. Now, someone may say that, I don't think I'm envious. But the reason we are in this material world is because we are envious of the position of God. And that is manifested through envy for other living beings, every living beings. Uh, when we are envious of another life, envious of someone else, because every living being is an amsha, is a part and parcel of the Supreme Lord. So when we envy others, we are actually envying Krishna. So that's the first, first point we can remember. Second thing we can remember is that it's very easy to see faults, but it's very hard to see good things in others. So here we can remember an example, or do we want to become a fly or do we want to become a bee? Flies, they'll always find for the dirty places. Flies will always find where there is um, some, you know, pus or wound. But bees will always look for honey. If you have a garden, right, filled with flowers, but there is one place where there's some dirty thing, flies will go there. But if you have a garbage pile and the, somehow one flower is blooming in a corner, you'll find the bees there. So second point is think whether do we want to become like, uh, you know, bees or do we want to become like flies? It's easy to see the bad and dirty things, but it's not easy to see the good things. So be the bigger person. Now, remembering this, we can also, you know, we need to know that if it's our seva to find fault, for example, you are the manager, you're the in charge, yeah, then we are supposed to find faults for improvement, then that's fine. But we should not find fault to put people down. So how to work on this, how to improve ourselves? Well, staying away will not help. That's the first thing. It will not help because the problem is within the heart. It is just like, you know, you're avoiding the issue. For example, you know, when people clean the house, all the dust and dirt start coming up. So a person feels that, oh, it's becoming even more messy. Let me not clean the house. If I just don't clean the house, the dust will not rise. But it's not actually solving the problem. So here are some things that we can try. First is always focus on the important things. Okay, Avoid the small problem. See the bigger picture. Focus on the goal. There's a story of once this girl who came to complain to her father that I don't like going to the temple. You know, there's so many people talking about each other. It's just, it's just messy, you know. I don't like it. So the father told her that, okay, just give it one last chance. And the father said, I hear it's a glass of water. It's filled up to the top. Take this glass of water and I want you to go to the temple. And I want you to go around the temple four or five times and come back with it. It should not even spill one drop. So the girl said, okay. And she took the glass and she went to the temple. She spent time going around with the glass, very careful, very making sure that not even one drop falls. And when she came back and she gave the glass to the father. The father said, very good. So what did you realize about the temple today? She said, uh, I don't know. I said, how are the people? Were they complaining about each other? She said, uh, I don't know. I was focused on the glass. I did not think about anyone else. Father said, exactly. So sometimes it's all about a shift of focus. So that is the first method we can try. Second method we can try is folk, when, if, when mind starts to criticize about someone, immediately use your intelligence and think forcefully think that, now let me think of three good points about that person. Like if you see a person keeping some place dirty, immediately you start thinking three points of, no, no, but okay, he may be a little dirty, but he's a good, nice person, speaks nicely, helpful. We can immediately th think of three things to uh, good about that person. So this, in this way, we can glorify that person, right? And especially if you share it with others, that's even more powerful because that purifies the mind. Mind is a rascal. Mind always wants to go negative. But if you start focusing on positivity and glorifying instead of criticizing, then the mind slowly gets purified. Lastly, it's very, very important to remember that devotee association 
is the only key by which we develop our devotional service. Devotional association is the key by which we purify ourselves of all anarthas, including the false ego. Staying away from devotee association will not help. Taking shelter of the Vaishnav Sangha, this is the only way by which we can improve ourselves. It is like, you know, how Krishna punished Kaliya and all the poison came out. So similarly, uh, just remaining in the Vaishnava Sangha will slowly purify us of all the poison in our heart. And avoiding it will not help. Because devotees, they take out a lot of time to study and hear Shastra. And they have heard all these kind of things and they know how to deal with it. So it is very common that we see people having all these issues of fault finding and different toxic behaviors in the heart. And devotees are the best people who being with them, especially those who are in good standing, we can learn from them and that way try to improve ourselves. Hare Krishna.